Bone Break with Dr. Clayton Lane. While the shoulder can dislocate in any direction, anterior dislocations are by far the most common, occurring in 90% of cases. Usually the arm is in a position of abduction and external rotation at the time of injury. The shoulder joint can be thought of as a golf ball on a tee. Looking down on the shoulder from the top, one can see how the cuff muscles and ligaments play an important role in keeping the ball of the shoulder on the cuff or glenoid. When the arm is pushed beyond its physiologic range, the ball of the shoulder is levered forward, overcoming the force of the cuff muscles and tearing the ligaments away from bone. Often the shoulder must be manipulated back into place by an experienced trainer or physician. Patients over 40 years of age often will tear their rotator cuff as well when the shoulder dislocates. While younger patients are less likely to tear the cuff, they are more likely to have problems with re-dislocation. Surgery to repair the torn ligaments and labrum is recommended in active patients under 30 years of age because the re-dislocation rate ranges from 85 to nearly 100%.